you want it, come get it, she want it, come get it, she want it, little nigga. I got it, put it on the clock, got a 30 on the clock, guaranteed I'll pop it, little nigga. Have a ride, ride on the block, ride, ride on the block, ride, ride on the block, drop a nigga. I got a drop on the hot, got a drop on the hot, got a drop on the hot, call a nigga. Big take a shit, who wanna come get it? All of my niggas be with it, be with it. Most of y'all niggas, y'all pussy, y'all bitch. Y'all really, really want part of my niggas. I've been ready to murder, I'm chicken finger, been itching. Welcome back to another episode of Bombshell 1111 Girl Talk Series Podcast. Bombshell 1111 is a platform created to teach ways to nourish the mind, body, and soul. This platform allows this podcast to create weekly content on podcasts with special guests each week that will stimulate your spiritual, mental, and physical growth. The podcasts are played on social media platforms such as Spotify, YouTube, Anchor Radio Station, Apple Podcasts, and more. This station has been created to allow us to interact with each other to share knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and light. So without further ado, please help me welcome your host and founder of Bombshell 1111 Girl Talk Series, Kia. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Bombshell 1111 Podcast. So, you guys, we just listened to Take Money, latest single, Come Get It. And tonight, you guys, joining me and Aziza, we have him on the podcast. So, without further ado, welcome to the show, Take Money. How are you? Thank you, you? and welcome to be here. I'm doing excellent. I'm blessed. Highly favored. So, tonight, Aziza and I, we were, well, we are very... Um, honored and we are very appreciative for you to come back on the podcast and yes. you know drop some more knowledge some more bombshells with us tonight yes. um you know i'm very familiar with you before um but from the past uh, uh-huh. from being on the podcast aziza um she's new to you yeah. so um but she has been vibing with you like she said all day for sure uh, <laughs> <laughs> right aziza for sure that's right that's, that's love that's, that's love. right so um Again, we're going to welcome him to the show and also welcome my co-host Aziza to the show. Um, Aziza, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing well. I'm doing swell and well. Swell and well, okay. Um, yes. So we're going to jump right in into the interview and um, take money. Can you let the audience know where you, who are you and where you're from and pretty much what genre of music do you represent? Yes, ma'am. Well, my name is Take Money Hot. I'm from North of Virginia, born and raised native. Um, I got into music um, just by my struggle through what I went through in the streets. Um, 
my genre of music, I, I mix it in with say trap, rock, and soul, all all mm-hmm. in one. Because um, I don't like to um stay in one lane. I'm kind of mm-hmm. I'm kind of versatile, so I'm doing a lot of different things. I challenge myself, so sometimes it won't be a, just a rap song. Sometimes I might attempt the same. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. so I put it in that type of yeah. category. But when I sang, it's a rough song, so it's a rough saying. It ain't. You know what I mean? All smooth. So I say soul instead of R and B. Yeah, I can dig it. I, I feel the soul yeah. in it. And you know, um, with us speaking before, um, you know, my va- favorite jam is "Sacrifice in Life," and that's very, very yeah. soulful because I can feel everything that you went through through that song and definitely relate sure. to it. Um, Aziza, when you get some time, definitely check out "Sacrifice in Life" because I know you abide with that as well. Um, Indeed. Yeah, Indeed. It, it's very yeah. hot. Um, I guess that I kind of lead into um, Aziza uh, uh, because she definitely had some questions for you in reference to your sound and things of that nature. So Aziza, Aziza you can just hop sure. right in. Yeah. Um, so more folks. Yeah. Okay. DMV. DMV. Yeah. Seven five seven. seven. Sitting in two states, but yes, you rep the VA. I can dig that. Um, with the, what makes your sound unique coming out of that region? Because, you know, a lot of a lot of the audience, you know, if they haven't traveled, you know, that way, they don't know that that the VA or the DMV area has its own sound is heavily influenced with the go-go, yeah, with soul sure, music, sure. you know, you know, East Coast influence. And one thing I noticed about the production, your production is, you know, Shout it's sick. The it has a lot. And I mean, sick yes. in a good way, but it has some heavy 808 beats to remind me of mm-hmm. the South too yeah. <laughs> but also it's very melodic so my question was really what makes you know your sound coming out of VA with it being yeah. so legendary unique honestly the region? I listen I think it, I'm so unique with my sound because I listen to a lot of different type of music and then I noticed when I before I started rapping like professionally like I noticed like everybody and it, like it's growing up now they was like Instead of instead of leeching off our style from our city and our state, a lot of great people that came from here, great producers, great like um, Teddy Riley, um, right, Pharrell, and so many other people. Instead of tapping into their sound, they tapped into other states' sounds. You know what I mean? So I said, yeah. so I said, mm-hmm. well, yeah. let me put yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that in there. I'm, I'm gonna put it from here. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make sure that when I say you hear, you hear my lingo. You hear the lingo from where I'm from. I don't want right. to talk like I'm from Atlanta, I'm not from there. I don't want to talk like I'm from New York and I'm not from there. Or do the bang yeah. bang music like I'm from Chicago and I'm not from there. I wanted to I wanted to specify my region. So that's why I tried mm-hmm. to um be a little bit more yeah. um out of the box with my sound. A lot of people told me to change the way I did a lot of things. Um like a lot of the high pitched melodies that I do. Never. Yeah, and I told him I don't. I really, I like, I like my music, and I feel as if as long as I like my music, that's what counts because it didn't make other people like it because they'll see the confidence behind my speech, behind my delivery, behind my energy. Yeah, right. So yeah, that's right. that's that was the, um one of the um one of the factors in my sound, and another factor in my sound is just my pain. It's my, it's 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 real. It's not fabricated. So however it comes out. That's how it is. That's what I'm feeling right then and there. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm never sugarcoating yeah. or camouflaging anything, you know. So if 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 I'm if I'm on a song and I'm screaming and my voice breaking, it's breaking because that's the pain coming through from my chest through my through my voice. You know what I mean? So that's another way that um, yeah. equates to my sound. Yeah. And that that is true. It, it is very unique just from me vibing with you today. I could feel. You know, it was like, how can I put this? It was like being in the streets. Yeah, of I want to convince you. Right. That's what I want you to do. I want to. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't need convincing. It was nah, when well, you like, turn me uh, on and you in the car, I want to be in the passenger seat with you, even though I'm not there. You know what I mean? I want to turn up. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I totally felt that. You know, and I didn't need convincing. I was like, yeah. okay, you know, I ran it, ran it back, ran it For back. For sure. It's like, okay. <laughs> I, I, can, I can relate to what yeah. this young bull is talking about because I do, I did notice in your delivery, it is some, you know, it's some guttural and that's coming from your, that's coming from your chakra, that's coming yeah. from your gut, that's coming from, you know, how you putting it out there and it's not 
darkness doesn't always have to in music doesn't also doesn't always have to be a, yeah, for a, a sure. terrible thing. You know, especially yeah, for when sure. you know, um, with, with Tupac, a lot of his songs that he done, they had to edit him so much because he was so raw when he spit. You know what I mean? He was so he was so oh, raw. Yeah. He spit from his throat. He spit from his stomach. You know what I mean? And that's what I try to do. I try to come yeah. raw. When you hear it, I want you to when when I say when I say hey, I stood out all all night, and it was raining and it was cold, and I still stood there. And when I say it, I want you to really feel that I was on that corner standing out there in the rain, and it was cold and it was hard. You know what I mean? So that's I try yeah. to deliver it. Yeah. All. Yeah. You speaking of pain. Um, take money i know that you shared before on a previous podcast but for, for those listeners um that weren't able to check in on that um particular episode can you briefly share a little bit about yeah. your history and how you got started with um writing music sure. um and a lot of your songs you kind of you know what you said you didn't even write them you just went in and just yeah. you went yeah. right in yeah, you know, and uh, again, I always relate back to my favorite um, cut, Sacrifice, yeah. Sacrifice in Life. The story yeah. behind that. Can you share Man, a little bit um, with that? Growing up, I was I was always kind of bad. You know what I mean? Hyperactive, moving around. So, and then you know, the neighborhood got over stricken with gangs, and I joined one. Um, and I ran around, and I ran around with some people, and. Somebody did a crime, and I and I had took the time for it because you know where I'm from. You don't tell, even if even if it's to help you, you don't tell. And some of the some of the fake ones do, but most of us we don't, so we suffer. So that's where sacrificing life had came from because I took the time for a crime that I didn't commit. And for the crime, the person who committed the crime was supposed to be my man's. I never heard from him, and and still haven't heard from him since. I came home or what, my whole five and a half year um, um, bid, but it was a journey. It gave me an opportunity to um, groom myself. It, mm-hmm. it gave me an opportunity to groom mm-hmm. myself. I can, I'm very, very tricky to the eye. I can influence you in a lot of different ways. I can be as negative as possible. I can, it's, I'm, it's like camouflage, you know what I mean? It's just how you relate and mm-hmm. how you, how you mm-hmm. relate. And I just, in prison, taught me how to relate to different type of people because you yeah. are trapped in a box with so many different variety of people from so many different places. And, and you know, yeah. and then, you know, in the street, selling drugs, using drugs. I had my son when I was 15. I got full custody of him. Um, and he an amazing kid. Um, he, yeah, Shout out and, to um, my, my father did 21 and a half years in prison. And when I came home from prison, he was when I, when I when he came home from prison, I was in prison. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. I met him before. Mm-hmm. That'd be a strong and heavy influence in my son's life. Um, I don't walk perfectly still now, but I'm doing a lot of great things that I didn't ever think that I would have possibly done. Um, yeah, you definitely prospering. I, I've seen you grow since the last time you've been on the podcast, which kind of, which kind of goes right yeah. into my next question. Since the last time you've been on the podcast, you definitely did a lot of growth. Um, you've um, grown yeah. with your clothing line, um, in addition to making mm-hmm. more videos, more singles. So, um, can you share with the listeners what has changed since the last time you've been on the podcast? And if you have faced any challenges since then, how did you overcome those um, challenges? Some since of the, the things last that time? have changed since the last podcast. Um, first of all, my views on everything that I do go crazy. I still got four songs still trending on Apple Music. It's four stars, four songs. Um, yeah, I seen it's been it, like I that. Seen for, for, it. I put this in music about two months ago. Um, first video did twenty seven thousand in a week. This second video just did forty thousand in a week. Um, yeah, so we'll vote, that we'll that changed. And then you know that you know when when the, when the, when you prosper, hate come out. So a lot of a lot of um, you know, people out here where I'm from, I get I get a lot more love from places that I never been. You know what I mean? Like, but where I'm from, mm-hmm. it's kind of like a stagnated attempt to join. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want him to think that he too much. I don't want him to think he too the shit. You know what I mean? I'm tone him down, so I don't want to give him too many yeah. praises. And I remember told me, I talked to you, it's like, I need to learn my, um, my praises, my compliments. And I learned how to well. So, um, and then with the clothing line, my first so 
person I've been to always, always most DM me uh, about purchasing. So I've been doing them on call. When you call, some people might send me a pair of shoes that they want, they outfit to match the color to. And we get it to them, whether we drive, we ship it out. And shipping is always on that. Um, life, mm. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's and, love, um, that's love. We've been, uh, since since a lot of this rallying and stuff has been going on, we've been, um, we haven't really been partaking. I'm, when I say we, I mean to take money, boys. That's my team, Baron the Gang. We haven't mm-hmm. been partaking mm-hmm. in um, none of the heavy, like, past. Um, um, I'm sorry, take money. Your, yeah. your phone went out. You say you guys have been doing. Um, we've been, been giving out. We've been giving out um, like water when it's a hot day for the protesters. I have people that go out there. We buy a whole bunch of waters. We give them out for free. Um, we just trying to um branch out and do multiple things. Um, as far as with our brand and the, and the culture. So, we've been doing that. Okay. And, and we got to um. I, I like have another mixtape coming out that's about to drop in, in, in like another week or two. It's called Penitentiary Cut and Change. Okay. That's PCCM. That's the acronym for it. Um, I'm gonna drop that, and and we gonna mm. we gonna we gonna go on with that. Um, I have one of my artists. His name is um G Phoenix at 89 underscore Phoenix on Instagram. He has a mixtape about to come out. Um, it drops tomorrow, as a matter of fact. On July 15th, it's called um, okay. Truth Be Told. And he a brother I did time with. Um, I met him in prison. He did 15 and a half years. He's into spoken word. He's a very down-to-earth um, brother. He helped me build what we have now. And his mixtape is going to drop. He rap a little differently. For me, he's more um, lyrical. But it's amazing. And I got a feature up there okay. with him. And the feature is called Truth Be Told. You know, it had to pat and it had to snap it for him. So... We got that going on, and, <laughs> you know, just just stand steadfast towards success. Well, definitely, when you get that going, send that to me for so sure. we can play that on the podcast. You know, just for the listeners to hear it, we can play it. You know, through our stories and things like that, just yeah. to continue to support you and you know to, to to motivate you to keep going. You know, and and I'm, I'm really proud Likewise. of you. And I'm really happy for Likewise. you that you've gotten to where you're going. You. <laughs> For sure, for sure. And I'm telling you, I told you from the beginning, you got it. You got it. Yeah. You just got to believe in yourself. Um, and I think that's a good segue into Aziza's next question yes. for you. Um, Aziza? Well, my my question was actually take money what drives you, but you, yeah. just, already, you just already painted. Yeah. You just already gave me the answer hate, to that Hate to that family, question. my friends. You know, your son... And rebuilding the relationship with your own father, and you know, salute to you for bridging that gap. He was not; he was absent for you, but yeah. you haven't been absent from your son except for the time that you spent away. And my question was, what drives you? But now I know what drives you. And one thing I took from that is, you you kept when you go into prison. A lot of times, people say what they're gonna do. They're gonna write. They're gonna do this. They're gonna do that. After it's over with. Six months, maybe even less than that. You know, Quick. motherfuckers gonna forget about you unless you got a solid team of individuals that's around sure. you and know that, that you solid. So it's reciprocal. So you shouldn't have to, you know, your little man shouldn't have to want for anything. You you shouldn't have mm-hmm. to want for anything. A phone call, a, a box, you know, whatever it is. So for you to be able to see something in this brother who has who has dreams, we all got dreams. We just need somebody to help us manifest them sometimes. So for you to be able to take money, boys, and then bring him on up under your wing, yes, you always build off of each other. So I do like that. So it really wasn't a, a it was, that was my question, but you yeah. already. And hey, you know something? Like, like, <laughs> the question was, yeah, we have what, meetings, what drives um, you? I have meetings with my, bro, with my bros. We're calling them my brothers. And um, I always ask them, did you advertise yourself today? Did you promote yourself today? Um, and I be down on them about it That's right. because I told them I was like, listen, bro, this is my dream, this is my passion, and this is what I feel as if it's gonna help me to um have a longer life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, when I, whenever I'm doing something, I'm kind of like locked into it. I get, I get like focused on it. You know what I mean? So, That's and that goes true. with the negatives too. So, I try to make sure I'm doing as much positive stuff as possible. At a mix. That's why I got a mobile detailing van that I have now. I just bought um, 250 gallon water taken it back. It's called Big Takers Mobile Detailing and Pressure Washer. We're going to have that 
coming up almost probably the end of this month. So congratulations thank you, thank on you. that. Yeah, small business. Okay, you got to get this you money. You know they say millionaires, self-made yeah. millionaires have seven incomes. Residual Residuals incomes. incomes. You feel me? So, yeah. so you know I'm trying That's to stack right. mine up. So look at you, yeah. boy. Boy, you better stay For down. Sure. Aziza, he um he, he he professional now. When I first met him, he was just you know amateur night the Apollo. Now he yeah, time, cause you know so, hey, you look, know. you know I did a couple <laughs> more interviews, you know, so I had to make sure I get my point across. And I know sometimes when you give a person too much energy, it's a lot to take in. Sometimes and sometimes they don't get the view of what you're really trying to say. Um, especially on like on my social media, I get a lot of people. I have more people that watch my social media than that, that actually follow me. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, my previews, my videos get 99,000, 100,000 views and stuff like that. So, I, I know people watch me. They watch the way I move. They watch the way I talk. They see me in my atmosphere. But, like I was telling you earlier about camouflage, it's not what you do. It's how you do it. And every place has a certain certain vibe you're supposed to bring to it. You know what I mean? So, everything ain't for everywhere. So I'm learning how to um, mix myself up because I'm trying to I'm trying to sit I'm trying to sit down in front of these white people and get me a big big check, you know. So you gonna get yeah. it? You gonna get? Don't say you. Yeah, I'm, to I'm do gonna, it, so I'm gonna, gonna do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I do it. Gonna I'm gonna do that it. Earlier. Yeah. 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 What you think, Aziza? What you think, Aziza? Yeah, you know, he, he, he uh, we have a mobile detailing yeah. business, a clothing line. You know his, you know, a mixtape coming out. YouTube, you know, he, he running his numbers up there. So when you were saying, I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that, yeah. and sit down in front of them, you'll be able to do It's hard. It's, I know sometimes it ain't even about what you guys, it's who you know. These people, yeah. these people, sometimes these people are, are see right. you good, right? They know you good. They see the fire in your eye when they talk to you and don't hear, they don't have a lot of stupid ignorance, right? And they scare them because they know they can't get over on you. So it take you, mm-hmm. for, it take you a little longer to get a little push up. They don't want to give uh, the, the, the nigga with some, with some type of brain a little money because then he got a little power too. You know what I mean? So I've been getting stagnated a lot like with, as far as like with reaching out to people um, scams and stuff like that. So you just got to be careful. But it's all going to happen yeah, in for divine sure. time. For sure. In, the, in divine, divine time and not your time. Yeah. Yeah, divine time. When it's supposed gotta, to happen, when it does happen, you ain't sure. gonna be able to. You gotta believe. thank Allah for everything He give you and everything He take away. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at him. He done tug. Word. He done tugged <laughs> that You better ball. say it. <laughs> yeah. He said Allah. Okay. All so, right. Aziza, All right. is there okay. anything else tonight that you feel that we didn't? get from take money that the, you think the listeners would want to know should know about him because i think we got a lot of good information about him he dropped a lot of bombshells for other individuals who are trying to get on this path and he's also shown that you can get there if you just have that perseverance so do you have anything else for him um uh, before we get out of here tonight no, actually, no, actually, I, I don't. Fight. He had me when he said, I'm you know, he's confident in himself. Yeah. Yes. That, that he's convinced in himself with what he's, what he's doing. So I, I like I like how you I like yes, how man, you I appreciate you. Moving. I really do. And so take yes. money. We are we we running out of time tonight, but we want to thank you so much for coming on again and being a special guest on the for podcast. Sure. And again, as you go throughout your journey, you're gonna be a guest. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to come back and be a guest um, to be on yeah. the podcast and to share for your sure. music. Um, but before we get up uh-huh. out of here, of course, you know we need to let you give your contact information to the listeners on your social media yeah. platforms and also give out your shout All right. Out. Um, social media, I only have one. It's Take Money Hot. Hot has two T's, all one word, underscore. Take Money Hot. Hot has two T's, underscore. Um, you can find my music at Take Money Hot on all platforms that I can get paid for. It's up SoundCloud, all, all of level. YouTube, videos, videos <laughs> popping out, clothing all line. Right. DM me. Serious inquiries only uh, at Take Money Hot underscore or at 89 underscore Phoenix or at Take Money Brazy underscore V. And um, you can get all your merch. Those two are my Take Money boys, and we'll make sure it gets to you. Um, what else you tell me to say? <laughs> who, who do oh, you yeah, shout, shout out. Shout out. To? First of all, first of all, I want to shout out Allah. Um, thank you for waking me up, and thank you 
for giving me the strength to walk and stand at a brief. Thanks to my mother. To my mother, inshallah. Thanks inshallah. to my mother, um, my friends, my family, um, my supporters, and all the people who hate on me. You know? I love my haters. Y'all motivate me. Y'all like gas mm. in the engine. You feel me? So keep gassing me up. <laughs> keep gassing me up. I'm going to keep driving fast. Um, Penitentiary Cut changed me on the way. That's PCC. I'm the first single that's about to drop. It's called G-Way. Um, and I know y'all going to like it. So I'm not going to hope. I put a lot of effort and time into it. And sweat. And shout out. Bomb shout out. I'm leather. You know? Well, well, you like that. cousin. So, um, but, um, take money. We changed the podcast a little bit before we get up out of here. Aziza, um, she's very lyrical yes. herself, um, and so she's gonna leave us with a quote for the mental tonight to end the sure. podcast. So, Aziza, go ahead, jump right in. Okay. Well, this is from uh, the book of Aziza, chapter one, verse two. This real shit. I I'm about I'm about that hell. Chapter one, verse two, and this is very, very, very fitting for you, inshallah. Once you touch your own brick, nothing will impress you <laughs> after that. That's on me. I said that. So you take that jewel with you. Once you touch your own brick, nothing else will impress you after that. So you keep striving. And with yeah, that strive. being said. Always remember, you are the bomb within your own shell and stay down for the crown. Peace, love, and light. If you enjoyed this podcast, please make sure you subscribe so you're notified when a new episode is posted. Rate, review, and share this podcast with your family and friends. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you're leaving with some valuable information that can help you on your personal journey. Also, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Bombshell1111 or at Bombshell1111 TV. You can also check out our mental health page, Your Health is Your Wealth, on Facebook, which is a page created to inform and support individuals with mental health and other health conditions. And with that being said, always remember, you guys, you are a bomb within your own shell. Until next time, peace, love, and light.